Today we're taking a closer look at the latest Kinder 10 litre race vest and a new and improved design for 2022 inspired by fell runs on Kinder Scout and created for trail runners wanting a comfortable practical race vest. I've put it through some decent mileage, some real world testing out there on the trails. Let's see how it's holding up. Hello and welcome back to The Vegan Runner. So today we're looking at this hydration vest from a UK company called Harrier, the Kinder 10 litre. Now I'm currently training for a 100k ultra marathon and over the past 10 weeks or so, my long runs, as you can imagine, have been getting longer and longer. Throw in some hotter weather, the extra nutrition needed to practice for an ultra, and I was finding my old Solomon Agile 2 just couldn't carry everything that I needed. A liter of fluid on a hot summer's day just wasn't enough to get me through a four hour run comfortably. So I started to look around for alternatives with a larger capacity. Many recommended the Solomon Sense 8 or Sense 10. There were a few Ultimate Direction fans out there and then there were quite a few recommendations for this backpack from Harrier, a company that's new to me but seemed to have a positive and loyal following. I'll be honest with you, my first choice was the Salomon purely because I've used many of their products over the, the past few years and they've always been well designed and fit me quite well. But at the time, the Sense8 was sold out in my size just about everywhere I looked. And when I saw the relatively low cost of the Kinder, just £59, I gave it a good look and thought it could be the backpack that is going to get me around these super long summer training runs. So I've had the backpack for about a month now. I've taken it on a whole range of runs from a couple of hours in length with just the bottles filled at the front to a five hour coastal adventure covering my first ever 50K. Where the pack was stuffed with nutrition, the two 500 mil soft lass and the two litre bladder also in the back as well. I've been out on the roads, the trails, some scorching weather, some not so scorching weather, and I feel like I've put this race vest through its paces. So how has it performed? First up and probably the most important is the fit. Now with every major running clothing brand, it's usually a right pain dialing in the sizing and choosing the right size for you that comes through the post and it's usually a good idea to go to a running shop, but that's not always uh, possible. Now even if you go to the effort of taking your measurements and following the sizing charts, for some reason sports clothing and shoes either run a little larger or smaller than advertised. Now something I loved about the ordering of the Kinder is the clear and detailed sizing advice on the product page. I took my measurements, ordered the size vest that was right for me and out of the box the vest sits really comfortably. It felt like it was kind of like made for me. I did need to tighten the fit of course a little just to uh, make it more secure and stop that little bit of bouncing around and you can do that by adjusting the two black straps that clip together around your chest. On the underside of these straps is this kind of tacky sort of silicon material. Now this has been really good for stopping the straps from coming loose whilst you're running, which is a problem that I've had with my Solomon Agile 2 and the backpack that I've got from Om as well. Now that extra tackiness does make the straps a little bit more fiddly to adjust, particularly on the fly whilst you're running. I often find with packs that, you know, in order to get the fit dialed in exactly, you can't really do that until you've run for a little while in it and you often need to stop in the first mile or so just to kind of micro adjust these straps and get the fit just right. This is made a little bit harder on the Kinder because of that sticky gel like coating on the strap but the trade off is that it doesn't budge a millimeter once you've got it dialed in. It's a very comfortable pack to wear. I haven't experienced any rubbing and chafing and generally the pack feels well balanced and weighted with a lot less bounce than I've experienced with other packs. It does run a little heavier than other vests that I've worn, and it's approximately 100 grams heavier than its rival from Solomon, but it's at a fraction of the cost. And whilst minimal weight is preferable, 100 grams spread across your chest, shoulders, and back, it's not a huge difference. Now let's take a look at the functionality of the pack, starting with the huge range of pockets and storage in the Kinder 10 litre. 
So we'll start with the back compartment which is divided into two sections. You might just be able to see there. So you've got the main sort of compartment and then you've got a smaller one where the uh, one and a half or two litre bladders can sit. There's also a handy little clip to keep the, the bladder in place to stop it from bouncing around whilst you're, whilst you're running, keep it upright. Now I found this backpack to be more than big enough for my needs. We recently went down to the Eden Project Park Run I wanted to take a look at the biomes afterwards and we were able to stuff in a couple of clean tops for, for changing into afterwards, some fruit, some you know snacks, some cash, all that kind of stuff. And there was still plenty of room for more if we needed. I've yet to stuff it full to capacity, but it could definitely hold the full range of mandatory kit from race directors pretty comfortably. What I like about the back section is how that you can cinch it down. So you've got this cord here at, at the top that helps just to keep everything tight and secure, especially if you haven't got it stuffed full, it's gonna stop things bouncing around. And this is a really cool, clever feature, um, which I haven't seen on some of the more expensive packs um, that I was looking at. So really like that, really good touch, just helps to lock everything down. Let's take a look at the storage towards the front of the vest, and it's quite hard to know where to start here. There are heaps of pockets, just absolutely everywhere more pockets than I think you could you could possibly want really and ask for, which is a good thing in my opinion. Now obviously you have two uh, kind of big pockets at, at near the front here. Um, that's our for either your 300ml or 500ml soft flask. I went for the 500ml ones and these are fairly easy to get in and out of their pockets. Then there's an absolute labyrinth of other pockets to use and I don't think I've used them all yet, there are that many. The ones that I particularly like using though are these zippered pockets on the side. I don't know if you can just see those there. Now they're really easy to reach on a run. They've got these nice kind of uh, string kind of, you know, bits of string attached to the zip. Really easy to, to access and it will easily hold a couple of gels each. And I like knowing that whatever is in those pockets is ultra secure and is not going to fall out. Now I've used the pockets in front of the bottles for my phone and spare GoPro batteries. These both stayed in very securely despite not being zipped. I was really impressed with just how close everything in these pockets sits. There's minimal movement and it all just feels very secure. There is a dedicated um, waterproof or water resistant uh, zipped foam pocket here, but I found it easier with a larger phone that's waterproof anyway, just to keep it out in the front. And then I can whip it out um, in a moment's notice and do some like hashtag instas or something. Now that water resistant pocket isn't redundant though, it's really handy to tuck away some emergency ice cream cash. I've had notes and coins in there and both have been fine with no bouncing and jingling from those coins. And that just about covers it for the pockets. Other features worth mentioning. Now there are a variety of ways in which you can carry poles if that's something you need your pack to do. It's not something I use so I can't really go into it in too much detail but from what I've read other reviewers seem really happy with the features and how balanced the pack feels when the poles are, are strapped in. Also the, the bladder hydration system has been really well thought out in my opinion. The large straw can feed its way over your left or right shoulder and there are plenty of elasticated loops on the front to keep that straw in place. Now this is my first time using a straw. I've heard some packs can get quite annoying when the straw is kind of like bouncing and waggling around in front of your face, but I'm very happy to say that it wasn't a problem with the Kinder 10 liter. What I will say though is it's definitely a pack that you want to get the straws for, definitely for the smaller flasks. On my first run, I really struggled to bring the bottle to my mouth or sort of crane my neck down to the bottle. It wasn't impossible, it just wasn't easy. Now with the straws, it's a lot more comfortable and since there are so many elasticated loops, it's easy to find a place to put them so they're not waving around. I think this is a good spot in the review as well just to mention the build quality. Now out of the box, it felt like a really well made and thoughtfully considered vest. Looking over the pack after 100 miles of wear, I can't really find any signs of wear or tear. I think it's going to go the distance and be a very friendly companion on many a long run over the next few years. I'll just quickly mention that one of the elasticated loops that holds the 500ml soft flask in place failed on my first run. The outer material of the elastic wore away. Um, somehow it just broke, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but it meant the flask was sort of slipping deeper and deeper into the pocket the emptier it got. 
But I reached out to Harry's customer service and they were very quick to find a solution and I've been happy with the Vest since. No other issues there. Now I haven't heard that this is a common issue with the Kinder Vest. Other people I know haven't had this elastic snap on them yet so I think I just got unlucky there. Now let's just talk about the price. At £59 it's very competitively placed in the market. Its rival from Solomon is about £140 and Ultimate Direction do a very similar vest for around about £90. So it's pretty reasonably priced if you're looking for the vest alone, but it's worth considering the price of the accessories that aren't included. In most of the running vests that I've seen, Solomon, Ultimate Direction and other brands, the price usually includes the kind of the full set, so, so the soft lasts and maybe some straws and things as well. So the vest is £59, you get the two 500ml flasks, they're coming at £10 each and you'll definitely want to make sure that you get the long straws to make it easier for, to drink from. They're £4 each and if you're considering this pack, it's probably because like me you need that bladder in the back to carry a bit more fluid. The 2 litre version is £13 or you can buy the 1.5 litre version for a pound less. I went for the 2 litre bladder. If I need less water, I can just fill up that bladder less. So without the two litre bladder, the full price comes to 87 pounds. So that's the vest and the two soft mill flasks and the straws. And with the bladder, it's 100 pounds. So you might already have these accessories from a different pack and I'm sure they'd fit just fine. But for the purposes of this review, I wanted to get the kit that was designed for this pack. I think it's a pretty good move that you can just buy the vest by itself. <laughs> I'm kind of tripping over soft lasts as soon as I sort of open up the cupboard at home. There's so many that have come with packs over the years. So to me it seems like a good step to, to keep the price down of the vest, but also it reduces the environmental impact as well. Something that can help you out with the full cost of the purchase, if you're a new customer, you can sign up to the mailing list and you'll receive 10% off your first order. There's also free shipping on orders over £99. So I used the discount code, then added a bunch of Mountain Fuel Energy Powder sachets to make up the difference and get that free shipping. One last thing, I really liked how the vest came packed and in the box there is this handy guide to the pack and it kind of tells you what each of the pockets are designed to do as well as some pictures of how it's set up and things like that. And also kind of goes through the other features, how you can carry poles and, and those kind of things. It felt like it had this kind of really nice personal touch to it. And I'm sure the two free running buffs that come along with it as well will be put to good use over the winter month. Right, that's it for this jacket and for this review. If you found that helpful, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And feel free to drop me a comment down below. Thanks for watching and until the next one, be the best you.